Gunfire, a crash, and a university on lockdown. Some chaotic moments played out between two shuttle bus drivers on TCU's campus today. And now the school is putting some extra security in place. News 8's David Goins live with what we're learning about this wild confrontation. David, it was a scary morning for students. Yeah, bizarre morning, Izzy. We have learned just in the last 30 minutes or so, Fort Worth Police did release part of the police report, but it does not have that narrative part that we look for to explain exactly what led up to this confrontation. So that's really the big question that is still unanswered. We do know that one of those drivers, 54 year old uh, Eric Hampton, was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. He was also charged with bringing a gun onto the TCU campus. Just as morning classes got underway, everything stopped at TCU. Right outside a bus stop near the football stadium, two campus shuttle drivers got into an argument, according to police, and one of them pulled a gun and fired at least one shot. Unless you are a police officer, you're not supposed to have a weapon on this campus. Fort Worth police say a 54-year-old shuttle driver then rammed the other shuttle and took off. The alerts went out immediately, telling the 10,000 student campus and faculty to shelter in place. So my first reaction was to get on Twitter, tweet what's going on. Fort Worth police did catch up to that shuttle driver and his bus a short time later. But even with the campus all clear given just after 8 a.m., it did not clear up questions students were asking Tuesday. Who was mad at who enough to kind of spark a school shooting like this? Fort Worth police have not released those details tonight, but sophomore Noel Flores says she wants to know more about who is driving campus shuttles. Uh, why he had a gun on him in the first place. TCU's newly appointed vice chancellor for public safety says both drivers involved in today's incident cleared background checks. We're looking at a person's history. We're not looking at a person's future. We're not going to be able to ever determine that. TCU contracts out its busing to Hearst based Roadrunner shuttles. But amid concerns over safety on campus buses, TCU saying tonight they are looking at immediate security changes. What we're planning on doing is making sure that either we have armed or unarmed guards who will be on the, on the buses temporarily. And tonight, TCU has not specified when that would take place. Our calls to Roadrunner shuttles, which is based out of Hearst, have not been returned either. Live on the TCU campus, David Goins, Channel 8 News. All right, David.